Upper Peninsula Sports with Jake Duran from the Gander Outdoor Sports Desk. Everything outdoors for less. Last season, the Iron Mountain Mountaineers fell one game short of reaching the Breslin Center. Tonight, the Mountaineers had a chance to avenge that loss with a win against Sanford Meridian. In the state semifinals, Iron Mountain would be headed to East Lansing. We're to pick this one up midway through the first quarter. The Mustangs, Gabe Brady, going to drop the turnaround in the lane. Meridian builds a quick seven point lead, but Iron Mountain would turn that around. And in the second, Foster Wonders drills the three pointer to give the Mountaineers a 10 point lead. That lead going to evaporate late in the first half. Trey Plitchka with the buzzer beater lay in to tie things up at 28 at the half. In the third quarter, Marcus Johnson with a tough shot from just inside the line. Iron Mountain up 10 headed into the fourth quarter. Meridian does not go down without a fight. Lucas Leader takes it to the rim for the hoop and the harm. He'd lead the Mustangs with 20 points, but later in the fourth, Charlie Gerhardt getting open underneath for the Mountaineers. Count the basket and the foul. Iron Mountain, they top Meridian 61 to 56. They're headed to the Breslin Center for the state semifinal. We're going to pick this one up in the second quarter. Blue Bolts versus Pelston. Dollar Bay up 27-24. Connor LeClaire going to triple from the corner. Blue Bolts go up six points. Helston now pushing the pace. A.J. Dotto with the miss, but Travis School is there for the tip-in. It's 30-27. Dollar Bay with the lead. First half coming to a close. Hool with a quick release. He nails the three from the top of the key. Blue Bolts lead now just two points. Moving to the third quarter. Pelston up one. Ashton Janky, the high arching three pointer is good. Dollar Bay regains the lead 45 44. In the fourth quarter, Davin Hill from about the free throw line. That is money. Dollar Bay extends their lead to five. With a minute left in the game tied at 61. Pelston going to lose Jank. He's able to scoop one up and in for the two point lead, which is six seconds left in regulation. Dollar Bay up four. Bradley Milioya will hit the three to cut the lead to just one, but the Blue Bolts would hit the clutch free throws. And the final chance for Pelston would come up short. Dollar Bay is headed back to the Breslin top in Pelston tonight. 67 to 63.